Ever wondered about the future of world economies? What will they look like in 2075? Imagine a world where the economic landscape as we know it is drastically different. As we stand here in the year 2023, it's a thrilling prospect to envision the economic contours of the world over five decades from now. Understanding the future of world economies is not just an exercise in speculation. It's a vital step in preparing ourselves for the transformations that lie ahead. It's about foreseeing opportunities and challenges, about shaping policies and about steering the course of our own economic destinies. The economies of the future will be shaped by a multitude of factors. Technology, for instance, will play an even more pivotal role in shaping economies. We're already witnessing the early stages of this trend. The digital revolution, artificial intelligence, robotics, and other technological advancements are disrupting traditional economic models, creating new industries, and redefining labor markets. Population growth is another critical factor. The world's population is expected to reach nearly 10 billion by 2075. The demographic shifts this will cause, the rise in working age populations in some regions, the aging populations in others, these will have profound implications on global economic dynamics. And let's not forget policy changes. The rules and regulations that govern economic activity, the international treaties and agreements, trade policies, fiscal and monetary policies, all of these will play decisive roles in shaping the economies of the future. Indeed, the world in 2075 will not be the same as it is today. The economic powerhouses may change, new industries will emerge, and old ones may disappear. The ways in which we work, trade, and interact will evolve. As we venture into the future, the landscape of the world economy will undoubtedly undergo significant transformations. This is not just about predicting the future, it's about understanding the forces that will shape it. It's about being prepared for change and perhaps even being a part of driving that change. So let's embark on this fascinating journey into the future of world economies. Let's explore, question and imagine. Let's be part of the conversation that shapes our economic future. As we venture into the future, the landscape of the world economy will undoubtedly undergo significant transformations. To understand the future, we must first comprehend the present. So let's dive into the world of the current economic giants, the United States, China, Japan, Germany and India. At the forefront of the global economy, we find the United States. The U.S. boasts an economy fueled by an abundance of natural resources, a well-developed infrastructure, and high productivity. In the realm of technology and innovation, it's a world leader, housing tech giants like Apple, Google, and Microsoft. Just a step behind, we find China. Over the past few decades, China has experienced rapid economic growth, soaring from a closed, centrally planned system to a more market-oriented one. Its strengths lie in manufacturing and exporting, with a vast domestic market and a formidable work ethic among its populace. Then, there's Japan, the third largest economy. Despite a lack of natural resources, Japan's strength lies in its high-tech industries, from robotics to automobiles. Its commitment to research and development and its culture of hard work and precision have propelled it to economic stardom. Germany, Europe's largest economy, is next on our list. Known for its industriousness and engineering prowess, Germany has a highly skilled labor force. It's the world's third largest exporter, with automobiles, machinery and chemicals being its main exports. Finally, we have India, an emerging economic powerhouse. With a vast and young workforce, a burgeoning middle class, and a shift towards digitization, India's economy is on an upward trajectory. Its strengths lie in information technology, telecommunications, and textiles. These economies have their unique strengths and growth rates. The United States excels in technological innovation, China in manufacturing, Japan in high-tech industries, Germany in engineering and exports, and India in IT and telecommunications. They have become economic powerhouses due to a combination of factors like natural resources, skilled labor, technological advancement, domestic markets, and work ethics. These economies dominate the world stage today, but will they continue to do so in the future? Scene script. Fast forward to 2075, 
the landscape of global economic power may look very different. Let's start with India. Currently, India is a rapidly developing nation, showing a lot of promise. With its young and dynamic workforce, coupled with massive digital transformation, India is projected to leapfrog several countries, potentially becoming one of the world's largest economies. The impressive growth of its tech sector and the rise of its middle class are key drivers that could lead to this economic metamorphosis. China, on the other hand, has already proven itself to be an economic powerhouse. Its continued growth, though, will largely depend on how it navigates the challenges of an aging population and environmental concerns. Nevertheless, China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, a global development strategy involving infrastructure development and investments across nearly 70 countries, could further solidify its economic dominance. Now let's talk about the traditional powers. The United States and Europe have long been economic giants. However, their relative positions may decline by 2075 due to a variety of factors. The aging population in these regions, coupled with slower technological advancements compared to emerging markets, could lead to a slower growth rate. It's not all doom and gloom, though. These regions have demonstrated resilience and adaptability over centuries, and they could very well find ways to maintain their economic strength. Other countries to keep an eye on include Indonesia, Brazil, and Nigeria. These nations have vast resources, growing populations, and are making strides in technological advancements. They may well rise as significant players in the global economic arena. In this future, we may also see the rise of a truly global economy, where power is more evenly distributed across the world. This could lead to increased cooperation and interdependence among nations, fostering a more balanced and sustainable global economy. The future is full of possibilities, with new players emerging on the global stage. What drives these changes in the world economy? What factors will shape the economies of 2075? These are the questions that we'll delve into in this segment. Firstly, let's consider technological advancements. Technologies like artificial intelligence, robotics, and nanotechnology are not just science fiction fantasies anymore. They're here, revolutionizing industries and altering the way we work and live. Economies that can harness these technologies effectively will have the upper hand in this rapidly transforming world. Next, demographic shifts will also significantly influence future economies. More specifically, the aging population in many developed economies and the youth bulge in developing ones present both challenges and opportunities. Countries that can effectively manage these demographic changes, perhaps by encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship among the young or by ensuring the well-being of the elderly, could find themselves at the forefront of economic progress. Climate change is another key factor. As the planet warms, Economies will have to adapt. Those that can successfully transition to renewable energy sources and develop sustainable practices will likely fare better than those that cannot. Furthermore, economies that can develop innovative solutions to mitigate the effects of climate change may also find themselves with a competitive advantage. Finally, policy decisions will play a crucial role. Governments that foster an environment conducive to innovation and economic growth through sound fiscal and monetary policies will likely see their economies thrive. Conversely, those that fail to do so may find their economies lagging behind. In summary, the economies of 2075 will be shaped by a combination of technological advancements, demographic shifts, climate change, and policy decisions. These factors aren't independent of each other, they interact and intertwine in complex ways. For example, technological advancements could help address climate change, while demographic shifts could drive policy decisions. These factors will play a pivotal role in determining which countries will lead the global economy in 2075. So, as we look to the future, it's clear that the world economy will be a fascinating space to watch. So why does this matter? What are the implications of these shifts in global economic power, you may ask? Well, let's delve into it. The future world economy has implications far beyond just a change in the rankings. 
These shifts in economic power can significantly alter international relations and global power dynamics. As emerging economies grow stronger, they may gain more influence in global affairs, challenging the long-standing dominance of the current economic giants. This could lead to a reconfiguration of global institutions and international norms to more accurately reflect the new economic realities. These shifts also have profound impacts on international trade and investment. As the balance of economic power shifts, so too will trade and investment patterns. Countries that were once primarily exporters may find themselves in a position to import more, changing the dynamics of global supply and demand. This in turn can influence the prices of goods and services worldwide, impacting everyone from multinational corporations to everyday consumers. Moreover, these changes present potential challenges for future leaders. As economic power disperses, managing international relationships may become more complex. Leaders will need to navigate a world where influence is less centered and more distributed. They will have to foster cooperation among a broader range of key players, each with their own economic and political interests. But remember, these shifts are not just about the economy. They are also about people. These changes will impact the lives of individuals around the world, from the opportunities they have to the challenges they face. And they will shape the fate of nations, determining who rises and who falls in the global arena. Finally, these shifts will also shape our global community. They will influence everything from international policy to cultural exchange, from the fight against climate change to the pursuit of global equality. The future of world economies is not just about numbers and growth rates. It's about the lives of individuals, the fate of nations, and the shape of our global community. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about the economy, it's about us.